Some time ago, I made a video about clear gel, and I said that you could make a strawberry glaze with it, and I promised that I would make a video about it. So here it is, and I'm always hesitant about making videos using clear gel because it's not an ingredient that most people have, and it's not easy to get. They don't sell it at your local grocery store. You have to get it from either an Amish store or buy it online, and I buy mine online. And I get it from a place called Kaufman's Fruit Farm and Market. I believe that's what it's called. I'll put a link in the description box if any of you are interested. And uh, I'm not connected with them in any way. And they, they put my clear gel video on their website. So if you go there and see it, no, I'm not uh, affiliated with them at all. Uh, they're very nice people. They found out that I made that video because they were hammered with sales for clear gel when I posted that video. And they wrote and thanked me. They're very nice. And... They put that video on their website, so if you wanted to see it, you could watch that there. This is very easy to make. What I'm using is about one and a half cups of strawberries that I washed and cut up into bite-sized pieces. And for that, I'm going to use a quarter cup of sugar. You could adjust that, make it as much or as little as you like. And for uh, each cup of strawberries, I use one tablespoon of instant clear gel. Now there's instant clear gel and there is a non-instant type. The non-instant is what you need for canning, for making uh, pie fillings when you're canning. It's excellent stuff. So there's one. And that's about half. And what this is, it's a modified cornstarch and if you look at the ingredients of the things in your pantry you're going to find it in almost everything so you need to mix the sugar and the clear gel together thoroughly if you don't then the clear gel can tend to lump up on you this kind of disperses the clear gel better so, that's stirred up just add your strawberries. Stir this up. And I have a lot of diabetics that watch my videos. You, I'm sure that you could use uh, the sugar substitute. I can't remember what it's called. Splenda. With this. Or you could make the clear gel with just the uh, some water and the strawberries too if you like. Just stir it up, get the strawberries good and coated, and it'll start pulling the juices out, and it'll make the gel. And this is all there is to it. And you could use this for a strawberry pie, or uh, I'm going to make some strawberry parfaits here. Or use it for topping on strawberry shortcakes. Turns out really nice. And this is all there is to it. Just get it all all the berries coated here. And in a few minutes it'll pull the juices out and start making a glaze. That's it. It's real thick at first. Until that sugar dissolves. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to make some pudding. For the pudding, I'm using a quarter cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, and three tablespoons of instant clear gel. Mix that up together thoroughly. And once again, you need to mix this well or it'll lump up on you. Now I have a cup of milk. I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And I want to make this pink to go with the strawberry, so I'm adding two drops of red food coloring. If you wanted to make this like a box 
um, instant pudding. You can add a couple drops of yellow in it, one or two drops of yellow food coloring, and it end up looking just like vanilla pudding that you get in the grocery store. So I'll just add this. Stir it up thoroughly. I want to use a mixer with it. And that's basically it. It'll thicken up a little more as it sits. That's vanilla pudding. Okay, it's only been a minute or two, and these strawberries are kind of gelled up. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water to it to make it like a pie filling type texture. You could just make this to whatever consistency you want. I want it kind of like a pie filling texture. So like that you could use it for a fresh strawberry pie. One a little bit thinner than that. This couldn't be easier. I'm sure there's recipes out there where you can make a strawberry glaze with uh, regular cornstarch and cook it and all. But the regular cornstarch tends to break down pretty fast. Whereas this will hold up. This is the beauty in clear gel. Add just a little more. Okay, use five tablespoons of water. The pudding set up a little bit thicker than I wanted it to, so back off of the clear gel just a little bit, maybe two and a half tablespoons. I'm going to thin it down with a little milk. It's better to add more clear gel than you think you'll need because you can always thin it down easier than you can thicken it up because it will lump up on you if you just threw some clear gel in there by itself onto liquid. I'm also making some spiffy whip to go on the top. If you don't have this, you could use Cool Whip or whipped cream or anything like that. But this is spiffy whip. It's made by August and Farms. I don't have any connection with them either. But this is good. So I have a quarter cup of spiffy whip. I'm adding a quarter cup of water. And just mix this up. Well, that bowl was too big to mix this in, so I moved it to a measuring cup. See that? No time at all. You have like a whipped topping. I actually like this better than Cool Whip. This has only been a few minutes, and you can see what you end up with. You're just mixing sugar and clear gel into strawberries. That's it. You can make it as thick or as thin as you like. One of the great things about this is you can put this in the refrigerator and it will keep for several days. I have some here that I mixed up about four or five days ago for some strawberry shortcakes. And I made this a lot thinner, but the berries are still holding up well. If it was just uh, strawberries and sugar, they would be mush now. So some strawberries in the bottom a little bit of pudding just keep layering pudding and strawberries So there you go, you can make strawberry parfaits just that fast and easy. This was enough to make three of them. They are real good. 
If you don't have clear gel, be sure to get yourself some. This was the instant type. The regular type is used in canning. And I'm sure somebody's going to ask, yes, I have tried canning strawberry pie filling, and it doesn't turn out well. It, the strawberries held up very well. It looked just like this in the jar when I did it, but it had that uh, cooked canned strawberry taste, and I just don't like it. If you've ever had any canned strawberries before, you know what I mean. It gets a weird taste and texture to it. So I don't recommend canning uh, strawberry pie filling. But this is real good. Real easy. I hope it helps.